Hey there, it's Ziv from Elementor. Today, I'll show you how to use page transitions. It enables you to display a full screen canvas as a transition upon entrance or exit of pages. And you can choose to add a preloader with predefined animations, icons, or upload your own images to create a unique design and deliver the best experience for your users. Let's dive in and see how it works. You'll find page transitions by navigating to your site settings, located in the top corner of your editor. Note that in order to use page transitions on existing websites, it first needs to be activated in Elementor experiments. On new installations, it will be activated by default. Back in the editor, you'll see the page transitions and preloader dropdowns. Let's check them out. First off, you can set a background, which is the page color behind the loading animation. Next, you have the entrance and exit animations. I've set it to slide in from the right and out from the left. I've also set the animation speed to 3000 milliseconds, so each one takes exactly 3 seconds to complete. While styling your page transitions, you can use the preview button to make sure it behaves exactly the way you want. Let's see that again. Cool. Okay, time for the preloader. It enables you to place an animation, icon, or image in the center of the screen to indicate the loading progress. You can even place your brand's logo to increase brand awareness. In animation, you can choose to display one of Elementor's preloader animations. I'll use the bouncing dots as an example. Here, you can control the animation speed and preloader delay in milliseconds. Use the delay to postpone the animation by a bit. I'll set it to 1000 milliseconds, so it'll only appear after a second. I'll go ahead and preview the page transition so you can see. Okay, great. Next, for styling, you can choose a color and set the size. Note that some animations, such as overlap and pulse, only have the preloader delay control. Alright, time to check out the icon type. Use the icon library to choose an icon you want to display. Or upload your own ones. After choosing the icon, set your desired animation over here. Like before, you can control the animation speed and preload a delay. And in style, you can give your icon a color, set its size, and even rotate it. Okay, almost done. Let's check out the image type. Here, you can choose an image from your library, such as your logo, or anything else you think makes your page transition unique. Set the animation, animation speed, and preload a delay like before. And under style, control its width, max width, and opacity for even more granular control. All right. Now that we are done customizing for desktop, let's see what it looks like on mobile. Looks quite good already. Note that settings with device icons can be tweaked for various screen sizes. For example, 
increase the image size a bit for mobile devices. Okay, that's better. Well, that's it. Now you know how to use page transitions to display a full screen canvas as a transition and style them to create a unique design and deliver the best experience for your users. As always, have fun creating and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now!